This hashtag PBT episode is brought to you by Dr. T's Primary Care for Men and Women. Call them at 1-855-771-1650 or go to drtees.com to find out how you can lose weight and feel younger and healthier again. Boost the quality in your life with drtees.com. Also brought to you by The Green Hit Smoke Shop, where you can find natural alternatives for stress and pain with various CBD-infused oils, lotions, edibles, and even inhalants to combat and recuperate the body and mind. Follow them on Instagram with locations in Far and Mission, Texas. The Green Hit Smoke Shop. You know, that's crazy. You say eight years. How fast time flies, no, bro? Big time. I mean, geez. I mean, we have a video of Elida. We got this off of uh, Aquí Rogelio's Archivos. Uh, It's a YouTube channel that I highly recommend to all our fans to subscribe to. But, uh, I mean, seeing you... On this video just blows my mind at how long ago it was and yeah. how young you were when you started and how skinny and I was looking at me. And you're still <laughs> are those what, what kind, the hell happened? Are those no, plastic <laughs> uh I mean what is that? It's Va- like a patent leather. Was, it's like a shiny patent leather. She looks yeah. like the villain remember from Superman, the the three villains? <laughs> What were they called? Yeah, they yeah, those, that's right, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but how, how hard was it to get into those things? I, I mean tough yeah and then on a on a hot sweaty hot day oh my <laughs> goodness yeah what 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 comes to your mind uh when you see this videos like this of yourself at that age and uh you know not Lalo, re- I, I, what I think comes think to, Lalo was 14 <laughs> <laughs> really like that. and i'm squinkling <laughs> backwards. So yeah, put that video again, babe. Put it in a big screen because I want Elida to see that, and I want her to tell me uh, like what what comes to her mind when she sees stuff like I, mean, I freak out. I just think like how young and and naive we were, but hungry. Mm-hmm. We were just had a lot of animo, and we just had a lot of chemistry, but then between the band and. And um, we were working hard. I remember we were, um, we weren't on the road. We were in doing radio videos, doing all kinds of stuff, or in the studio. Yeah, this yeah. is uh, good I think times. This is like ninety three, I think, or ninety ninety one, maybe something like that. Ninety two, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, and I wish I knew about eyelashes and makeup and stuff like that. <laughs> I look back. The about, things we don't see. The things that we don't. That, well, yeah. Now I know, but you know. <clears throat> But you you look fantastic there for your mm-hmm. age and everything. And Thank but you. what I'm freaking out, that guitar player is a guy that we had in Whiskey D too. Who? Now that I see him, Randy. Remember Randy. Randy. Yeah. That's oh, right. really? Tanyan Chavalon, Randy, oh, yeah. Randy. Wow. Yeah. wow. He played with us too. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. And then you had, uh, of course, uh, Gande. Gande, man, an amazing painter. He was here a couple of weeks ago. Yes. You were surrounded by some really great From young monsters. musicians. From the monsters. beginning. Yeah. From the beginning, yeah. Monsters. Yeah. Wait For a minute. Sure. Was that Epi in the yeah. background? Yeah, that was Epi, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah. I love Epi, bro. Yeah. Shout out to Epi, man. <laughs> yes. yeah. Epi and friends. Yeah. For so, sure. do you still keep contact? with the guys oh, of course as a matter of fact we just saw Kande. um i was a guest speaker in um los fresnos high school uh-huh. because they have the the program that we're gonna i want to talk about in just a bit and his daughter plays bass guitar in the band mm-hmm. in the senior band and so we got to talk to him and we were just reminiscing and talking about Gilberto perez mm-hmm. he even got a little teary-eyed because they played one of his songs and so yeah i mean i hadn't seen him in in years to be honest i keep in touch more like with noe and i see epi here and there and Mm -hmm. um i just saw them um at a festival that they had in elsa with not just bohemias with ricky ramos and uh the guys came by to support you know noe was there and epi and i think toots was there yeah yeah. um alviar and um of course some of the other guys you know took a picture with them and it's always just great to catch up and see what they're up to and no, he's on the road and yeah, with yeah, uh, Los Tex Maniacs. Mm-hmm. I saw him in San Benito. Yeah, and then of course well, Lucky was there too. Lucky was p- performing, mm-hmm. so we all took a picture together. It's just yeah. great to see everybody, and you know, just I brings gonna, a big smile to my I face. I was going to yeah. say there was never, there's never been any heart feelings and or the or anything. No, nah. between the the transition of the old Avante and, and what we've done for the past, I don't know, 15, 16 years, because at, yeah. at the end of the day, we all love her. Yeah. Whether it's myself or Noe, or I mean, we all love Elida. It's a, it's an eternal connection, dude. It is. It is. That's what mean, it is, bro. It is. We were we traveled on the road almost ten years. You know, they were yeah. my brothers on the road, and 
Um, that's when I got my my first taste of what it is to be on the road. And, you know, I always say I'm like when I was just like one of the guys. And I really do feel that way because it was a brotherhood uh, between all of us. And we all sacrificed, you know, some days having ham and cheese bologna sandwiches mm -hmm. but some of those are some of the best memories yeah I'll, I'll always take with me we would stop on the side of the road at a picnic table and we would all eat there and our and you know and and our the rv that my dad yeah the, the, the shit mobile <laughs> yeah <laughs> the turd the, what did you the call the it the turd the turd mobile. Yeah, that my dad bought yeah, us you know yeah. it looks like an wow. airstream an airstream it used to be silver and then we got the bright idea to paint it, it brown. bronze. <laughs> bronze. We thought it was bronze. No, I remember it. By the time we were done, we we're like, oh no, I remember this looks like a. I remember it driving up into the backstage <laughs> of the Alamo Dom Tejano Awards uh -huh. next to all those uh, fama buses, electric. And I was yeah. like, who is that? And I say, "Van todos el Elida." And I'm like, Aww. "Oh, it's Elida." But look, going back to the guys, yeah. I mean, not only were they amazing musicians, they're just genuinely good people. I yes. mean, they were great. Kande was here. Man, guy's one of the nicest mm -hmm. guys you could ever meet. And yes, then yes. you have Epi, who's just happy-go-lucky. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have Noel, you know, I yeah. mean, who's just an amazing. And Randy's bien calmado, bien callado. I mean, yeah. You had a, not just an, 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 a group of amazing musicians. They yeah. were just genuinely good people that would probably look out for you 100%, right? Oh, yeah, we all did. And we all did everything together. I never, we always traveled together. It was never me by myself. I didn't, that's how we always wanted it, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we had a van and then had an accident in the van. And then um, we got we ended up getting a Suburban after that. We would travel everywhere in that. It was a clunky old Suburban, but yeah. hey, it got us everywhere we needed. Yet, That's all you, know? you need. I mean, those yeah, are the at that time we were <laughs> sacrificing because basically what we we're doing at that time is like we would get paid a little. But the rest went into getting equipment, getting lights. Mm -hmm. You know, we were trying to do that bit. So we had a truck. We had things that we wanted. We had goals. You know, and so we're trying to put we put our pennies together and and you know get equipment and do do all that and then merchandising and all that good stuff. Yeah, so. and you went through some record label bullshit, you know, yeah, back then too. And then you you yeah. you overcame that. Yeah, uh, you know, and the, the guys ended up. I mean, Kanda decided he just wanted to give up music. What did you think when he said that?